Several years ago, uh, the National Math and Science uh, Initiative was formed. Uh, it was formed back in 2006 based upon a report that was published in 2005 uh, called Rising Above the Gathering Storm. Rising Above the Gathering Storm uh, concluded that, that uh, the United States was slipping in the global economy and that, that our preeminence in the, in the global economy and our preeminence in our uh, uh, high cost of standard of living, I should say, and actually our our national security interests were being threatened because of the decline in science and math education. So the report recommended that there be several replication models or programs uh, to be instituted to bring about the necessary change that we needed. And that's how the National Math and Science Initiative was founded. Uh, our goal is simple, and that is to increase the number of students who are enrolled in advanced placement math, science, and English courses, and also increase the number of students who receive qualifying scores on the AP exams in those subjects. Data has shown that when the United States, um, um, or with students, I should say, are enrolled in rigorous and relevant courses uh, like AP, um, they are more likely to graduate from college on time with a degree. They are likely to have higher GPAs, which of course the business world is interested in. And also, of course, uh, when measured against the rest of the world, uh, students who take advanced placement courses, uh, their achievement scores tops uh, other nations uh, from, around, from around our world. So obviously, our mission, our focus is to uh, put that back into our educational system through the creation of public and private partnerships. The future of this country and the future of the world in terms of solving the very, very important problems are not going to be solved by government policy alone. It's going to be math and science that's going to be the driving talent or skills or knowledge that are going to be able to deal with the problems that are going to be facing Americans and people around the world in the 21st century.